Hello and welcome to a new video about programming Arduinos. This time with a little theory. This time we want to see how we can divide a voltage with the help of resistors. Okay. So I have here a 1 kilo ohm resistor. Uh, this 1 kilo ohm resistor I have plugged in here plus 5 volt and here I have plugged in uh, ground. So I will put this this 1k resistor, 1 kilo ohm, 1000 ohms here. Uh, and then I also have a 2k resistor, 2 kilo ohm resistor. And this 2 kilo ohm resistor I will simply plug in here. Uh, so now, how does this look like? Between, between this end yeah, and this end, I have 5 volts. Yeah, and I have here 1 kilo ohm and 2 kilo ohm are 3 kilo ohms. Yeah. And the question now is, how many volts I have here in between? Yeah. We can measure this. Yeah. Let's measure this. I hope we can see it on camera. Yeah? Maybe it's not. Yeah, you can read it. Uh, this is the important part. Uh, well, so I measure between here the top and here the bottom. So we should measure around 5 volts. We do. Yeah? So this is the 5 volts. And between here and here we do have 1.6 volts. Yeah, so here we have 1.6 volts and between here and here we have 3.3 .3 volts. Okay? Good. Now we know here we have 5 volts, here we have 1.6 volts less. Yeah? So we have 3.4 volts, 3.3 volts actually. We will see how this really turns out. Here we have 3.3 .3 volts and yeah. So, here we have double the voltage than here. Yeah? Here we have double the resistance than here. One kilo, two kilo. Okay? The, the current which is currently running is the same because the current is traveling from here to here, from here to here. It's no way to get rid of the current. The current cannot get away. Yeah? So whatever electrons are traveling here, they must travel here as well. They must travel here as well and here as well. This is typical for a serious connection of, of things. Yeah? That the current is the same. And to bring the current through one resistor, which is double in size, you need the double voltage. Yeah? Because the voltage actually is the driving force of the current. And if the resistance is higher, you need higher voltage to drive the, the same amount of current through. Yeah? So what it actually means is that the, the voltages are divided into two parts by these two resistors. And according to the resistor size, yeah, 1K, 2K, 1 and 2, the voltage levels will divide. Yeah? Here is double voltage than here and together they have 5 volts because I applied 5 volts. To see if I'm really correct, I will replace now this 2K resistor with another 1K resistor. So now we should see that the voltage is equally distributed. Now we would expect in the middle to have to have uh, around 2.5 volts. Okay, let's see. Between here and here we have 2.5 volts and between here and here we also have 2.5 volts. Yeah? And between here and here we have again 5 volts, our 5 volts. Now those two are equal and so we need the same driving force, the same voltage here and here. Hmm? Of course, now, before, here was 1.6 volts. Now, I have 2.5 volts. This means the current which is running yeah, is higher than before. Yeah? Because it's clear, I have the same driving force, the same voltage of 5 volts, but I do not have 3 
mega ohm, ah, uh, kilo ohm, I have only two kilo ohms in, in series now, yeah? because one K, one K, two K. Okay. So if the, if the driving force is the same and the resistance is less, the total resistance, there is a higher current simply running. Okay. This thing here is called voltage divider. Okay. We'll now put this away and draw a little bit something yeah, to show you in, in schematic. Okay. So this is actually how it looks like. Yeah. So here we have the two resistors, yeah, R1 and R2, and the complete voltage of, in our case, it was 5 volts. It was uh, then substituted or divided to a U1 and a U2. And we realized that the ratio between U1 and U2 was the same as the ratio between the two resistors. Yeah? So if R2 was double in size than R1, then U2 was doubled as in was double in size than U1. Yeah? So and if it would be vice versa, it would be vice versa. If you R1 would be double in size, then U1 would be double in size. However, the total voltage, the sum of the voltage, is always the total. Yeah? And we also said, yeah, the total, the total resistance, yeah, total resistance is the two resistance, series resistance added to each other. Yeah? And we could also make a ratio between, for instance, R1 to the total resistor. Yeah? And this is also according the voltages. Yeah? So this voltage compared to this voltage is the same ratio than this resistor to the total resistance. Okay? And of course, the other way around, U2 compared to U is R2 compared to the total resistance. Yeah? So these are the laws. Yeah? Voltage divider, this is called. Yeah? And if we can manage that we can take the voltage here and put it to an in-pin of the analog in-pin of the Arduino, we could measure something because then we could plug this to plus, plus 5 volt. Then we plug this to ground. Yeah? And for instance, if we could manage that this R2 is changing because of some rule, let's say because of the temperature. Yeah? If R2 is temperature sensitive, yeah? then this voltage of the R, this R2 is changing according to the temperature. So the voltage is changing according to the temperature. And I could measure the temperature by measuring the voltage. Yeah? This is how a lot of sensors are working, yeah? resistance sensors. We can also measure traveling ways, yeah? Rota rotary or maybe linear, with the help of these little things. Yeah? This is a so-called potentiometer, and the potentiometer is actually looking here are three legs, looking like this. Yeah? How a potentiometer is working there is a separate video about this. This will be next video. How a potentiometer is working. Potentiometer is basically a voltage divider built in one case. Yeah. For this time, thank you very much for listening. And goodbye.